Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another message of the day. Today is 16th of November and let's see what do we have. We have Archangel Michael, Protection. And I'm using Keepers of Light uh, Oracle. So there is some kind of protection around you and you need to remember that everything that is happening f around you is for a purpose and that purpose will get fulfilled if you start believing that there is pro protection around you if you are feeling insecure then it is a bit difficult that's what they're saying them then we have buddha incarnated awareness or increased awareness also uh, what they're saying is that you need to develop that awareness you need to develop that faith you need to develop uh, a s system where you cannot control yourself so much that you are starting to uh, dig a pit for your own self. For heaven's sake, you need to get out of that zone. That's what they are saying. And they are saying that Almora, it has come back. Uh, Almora was also there yesterday. And Almora is saying that awakened presence, you need to understand that Archangel Michael or the divine cosmic energy which is protecting you is always around you. Its presence is always around you. You need to awaken yourself and trust the guidance because a certain bad, bad things have kept on happening to you in the past because that was karmic. But that's going to be pattern of your life. That is stupidity. That's what they're saying and they're saying it in a very harsh way that they're seeing that you are doing stupid things right now just because you are feeling insecure about yourself, who you are, just because you are trying to change yourself or the environment is trying to change yourself and you are not able to uh, change things because you're habitual. Sometimes pain becomes such a classic habit that uh, happiness seems to be uh, what how do I say I, I can say it in Hindi very easily but yeah, it looks like happiness is your uh, enemy yeah that's what I wanted to say I want to say that happiness is your enemy because pain has become your friend and you are enjoying pain and you just want to stay there and then you would be staying there alone. That's what they're saying. You cannot do that to yourself. And then we have uh, Mother Earth, Gaia, the Earth connection, which is saying that the material things of happiness is waiting for you. The Mother Earth is going to shower all the her wealth, which is all material luxuries and all the material happiness for you or uh, some people take it like material things i don't want material things because they are shallow uh, if you cannot appreciate material things trust me you won't even be able to appreciate anything else in your life so you you need material things of course you need to use them with caution you don't have to overindulge in those material things but then you of course need everything you cannot judge yourself for behaving in a certain way acting in a certain way or doing anything or uh, anything of that kind uh, because everything is part of the divine cosmic energy everything has to be there so you cannot feel so low about yourself and then we have dharma unfolding dwajkhul i don't know how to pronounce that if you can please uh pronounce it for yourself that's what i would say Jewel Khul, Jewel Khul, yeah, that's how I feel is the right pronunciation, but I may totally missed it. But what they're saying is that in the coming days for you, a lot of things will open up to let you know what 
is your purpose why did you incarnate why did you go through this uh, experiences that you had maybe painful maybe happy maybe traumatic whatever it was it was meant for you in a certain way to experience in exactly the way you have experienced because you were supposed to become someone you were supposed to become someone through those experiences but if you take those experiences so seriously and then you just want to live in that experience for entire life that's not the purpose here that's what they're saying you have to go through the experience and move on to the next experience you cannot hold on to that traumatic experience for the rest of your life and this a lot of you out there who are living the same trauma every day because you feel that that's your life no you have lived through that trauma you have learned through that trauma and now you are supposed to move on maybe a fresh new trauma is waiting for you to teach you something but that is something that you have to learn you cannot stay in your past have faith that humanity has benevolence and you have something which is waiting for you for your own good and now the final card what they're saying that yeah you just to end this video here voice of the truth john of arc what they're saying is that you need to be strong to move on to find your own truth you cannot live in your imagination you have to come out of that snap out of that thought of living in the past or living in the pain and find your truth because that will liberate you that will help you to move further in life that will help you to find a place for yourself in this society in this world in this cosmos because that's why you incarnated here so that's your message for today thank you so much for watching this video if you resonated with this i don't know from the time i started using these set of cards keeper of light they are saying that somewhere you have been losing yourself in something and yesterday's message was quite harsh today's message is also quite harsh i don't know why but i can sense that a sense of harshness and is that you really are feeling that much confused because most of the times most of the audience that i have because i always get very limited audience who can resonate with it are you getting drawn to your past traumas that is what i'm little uh interested in to know that because it happens quite easily because each, each one of us have to go through a certain trauma in our life and sometimes some planetary cycles are such that you get drawn back to those things to revisit them to only to learn that okay this is already over and done and i should be even more stronger now just to remind you that how much strength you have if you are going through that kind of process remember that but if you can relate to whatever i'm speaking since yesterday please leave a comment below i really want to know what's the feeling of larger section of the audience here thank you so much until next time bye bye and namaste see you soon